Hi friends, welcome back to God of Gizmos. My name is Satish Kumar Purswani. Today I am going to show you how to use Log4j version 2 for your project. So I was looking for uh, something for logging into my project. Uh, but somehow I didn't get that much information on the internet. And so I thought of making a video by myself. So I will first show you how it will work. So this is my application for example and this is going to log uh, log a file or, a, or create a logger for this project on the location c logs debug log i will show you that there is no such location right now in my c drive so in my c drive you cannot see logs as of now logs folder okay so let's run this project click and say run as java application okay you can see there is uh, just a hello world log coming in that is this one sys out and nothing else is printing right now because i have not configured that in my uh, logs file and i will show you that now uh, logs file uh, logs folder is created on this location okay so we will go to c drive and and as you can see there is a logs file created at uh, 610 just right now and we will go inside it and we will check what is there so as you can see we have got the logs and the time and what the log is log type and line number and the app name okay i will run the application again and i will make this log as uh log or log created now okay and i will save this file and i will close this i will run the application again okay run as java application okay so the uh so this out is printed application is executed successfully now i will go to that log file log folder again as you can see now there's a folder called previous log which is just now created and there is a backup of the log which was created earlier i will just open that log so as you can see log created now is has now come up in this file and we will go to the current file this is the current file and as you can see there is no that uh, value which we have added log created now in this file okay so this is going to be uh, this is how it is going to be working okay so i will just delete this application and i will start over to show you how to use this i'm just deleting uh, deleting from the disk as well as you can see the application is deleted right now so let's get started so th this all things you will require for uh, running uh, log4j2 in your application uh, one is uh, jar files or maven setup for that particular log4j2 then you will require log4j2 properties file or even you can use yml or you can even use json or there is a, a basic configuration file that is xml which is used for log4j as well but uh, there is some difference in log4j2 and log4j xml even for the properties file even for the yml even for the json so accordingly you will have to uh, use that files and i will share those files as well with you and there needs to be a logging code in your application to run the logger okay so let's get started i'm going to my eclipse creating a new uh, project with a maven project okay selecting next so i'm uh, for my uh, for demoing purpose i'm using a quick start you can even use a web app or spring mvc whatever uh, you feel good okay as of now i'm starting with quick start and so my uh, 
group id will be com.gog gog is god of gizmos if you like this video do subscribe to my channel and i am coming up with this video after so long time so please support and i will create a application name as well learn log 4 j 2 okay uh, not added and so this learn learn log 4 j 2 we click on finish there is a uh, structure of my application as you can see there is uh, no logger as of now in the maven dependencies also there is j unit jar only i will go to form.xml form.xml source okay and i will add the dependencies over here i have already uh, copied the dependencies with me the files which needs to be there okay so this is the dependencies I'll just copy it and paste it and I will say Control shift F for formatting and I will save this so as soon as I uh, press Control S saving this file there are two more jars coming in for uh, this so I, I would like to tell you that uh, log2j.properties file is supported for version greater than 2.4 uh, so I'm using 2.6 right now. I think this is the latest version of log4j. I'll just close this. And as you can see, uh, these two jars are come up. Uh, and if you are doing it for the first time, you might uh, these jars might take few minutes to download, and this won't take long. Okay. And I will just put a logger statement over here. Let's say private static final and we will say logger this is a logger type we say log okay we say log manager dot get logger and you can even uh, keep it as uh, like this only or you can even add uh, your class name so let's first keep it like this so you will have to use arc apache logging log4j please keep this in mind otherwise you will end up uh, like your logger will not work okay so you can even add a class name over here to identify for which class this uh, we are working okay and let's save this file then uh, you will also need to add uh, log uh, quotes let's say for debug so we have number of arguments but i will just use one uh, let's say this is a debug statement okay so likewise i have created uh, other statements with me and i will just copy copy paste this for you so we can move ahead so uh, I will just change you will have to use alt shift F uh, alt shift R I'm sorry alt shift R to replace all this references in case you don't know so this is the logger and we will try to run this okay let's say right click run as Java application okay so uh, as soon as we run this you can see an error coming up which says no log 4j2 configuration file found using default configuration and logging only errors to the console so this is the default configuration as we have not added uh, log 4j2 dot properties file or json yml or xml file yet so we will first uh, right now add that so for that you will have to go to source main and in the main folder not in java in the main folder you will have to create a new folder called resources where you will add resources where you will add that file so i will just create a new file and i will say log for j2 dot properties 
okay the file is created i have uh, the template with me i will just copy paste that template okay and you can change uh, file name or file path if you want you can change uh, this file name this is a rolling type so append us it is a rolling type so it will take rolling and you will have to specify the parameters then and as you can see uh, you will have to then specify the package name this com dot god of gizmos dot log 4j i think this package name is not correct i will just update this package name to this one okay i will copy this and i will paste it over here okay this has come up so i will go to my logs folder and i will delete this folder so we can verify if that application is working right now or not so uh, i think the configuration is done i will just start the application just run the application right click run as okay so you can see this is just printing the sys out as of now and the logs are not being printed i will just go to my c drive which is this path c drive logs debug.log so it should have created that c drive logs okay as you can see this is created right now 620 this is 1820 both are same okay we will go inside we'll check okay so as you can see there is a logs are getting printed this is how it works so as you can see this fatal log is also getting printed we have added uh, all the logs debug info one error fatal trace i'm not sure if trace is getting printed okay so right now the trace is, trace is not getting printed might be there will be a different uh, way of printing it i will let you know okay we will run the application again uh, just a second before running the application i will just add a few lines few lines just to show you that this file is getting backed up while we are running the application again uh, let's say i'm running the application again okay so as you can see log is not printed but in this file this is a new file just now created at 1821 and we will go to previous folder in the debug by this xml we will open this and as you can see this file is backed up the earlier file is backed up because we are using a rolling you can even use a file a structure if you want that will append that uh, things to the file to just one file if you want i can give you the code uh, you can just see in the description and uh, i will show you how to print that this thing in the console so you will have to use uh, appenders and in the appendix you will have to mention console and you will have to uh, give the properties for console i will i have just have, have it with me i will just copy paste that okay so this is the one appendix okay just copy paste that console i think root loggers root loggers i think you won't need that okay and this is the type so as you can see if you will mention console so you will have to uh, give the appender a property of console and likewise other properties so you can uh, get this file on apache website as well if you want and i think i will have to add this as well root logger just a second and i will execute the application again run as okay just uh, the file might have been created over here so as you can see this is a new uh, backup file has been created and current one is this right now okay uh, root log or debug so you can change the level of logs if you want a warning to be included if you want info to be included if you want trace which was not getting printed you can uh, mention it over here and that will get printed 
and this is the size of file if your file size reaches 10 mb for example in this right now so it will roll over to a next file which will be a continued file for that particular and the earlier file will be packed up on the previous location so i would suggest to uh, if your log is a huge log more than 100 mb more than uh, 400 500 mb then you can just use this uh, policy size and you can change it to 100 mb or 700 mb whatever your requirement is okay so uh, this is how log 4j uh, log 4j2 works i will just check um, why it is not printing on the console just a second just keeping uh, additivity as true will uh, help you print the logs in console as well as you can see i will just execute the application again as you can see uh, the log is getting printed and if you want i can change this to trace because trace is not printing might print the trace as well right now okay so trace is not printing uh, i will have to figure out but if you want to create an uh, logger file for your project using log 4j2 without uh, without having much to do so you can use this you will have to keep the uh, log 4j2 dot properties file and resources folder you can use it with uh, spring spring boot application as well you, you can use it with normal application as well it depends upon you and as you can see there are logs getting this is the current log 1826 it is 1827 right now and the previous log will be rolled over to this depending so you can see there's a time coming up 19 18 21 19 18 21 19 18 23 27 likewise so you can use this okay friends if you like this video do press the like button if you uh, want to support this channel please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon to get the latest updates thank you so much you can follow me on facebook uh, with the same name god of gizmos you can follow on instagram with the same name god of gizmos my name is satish kumar burswani thank you so much thank you